Tuesday 19th. Need to pack all the stuff away again. <laughs> okay, bikes are loaded again here in Yerevan. So now it's time to get back on the road and see Armenia. Once again, we don't, well, we want to like, can want to see something new, but also we don't want to leave because it's been so nice here. But that happens many places, but of course it's quite a positive thing that we come to so many nice places and we don't want to leave again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good here. Okay. Let's go and see Armenia. Okay, let's try to make our way out of the city here. Morning rush hour by the looks of it. There's the first sign for Migri. That's the town that's just 10 kilometers before the border of Iran. Okay, now we should be cycling past Mount Ararat. Very, very famous mountain. Not the mountain behind me here, it's actually Mount Ararat. Yeah. Shame today, it's actually covered in clouds at the summit, but uh, this is the, the mountain mentioned in the book of Genesis in the Bible. This is the mountain where it's believed that Noah's Ark actually uh, came ashore up there. Um, it's actually 5,000 meters high, and the top of the mountain is just covered in snow. It's actually quite an amazing mountain to look at. It's a very steep uh, peak. Well, it's very sharp, but just where the clouds are, so we can't actually see it. But, um, but, uh, one of the most important symbols of Armenia. But uh, unfortunately, after the First World War, all the borders in this area were, were moved, and this actually became part of Turkish territory, and it's still debated to this day. Really close to the Turkish border, once again, it's just over there. Fruit stalls on the side of the highway here. Yeah. National fruit of Armenia is the apricot. We've been eating quite a few of those so far already. And it tastes amazing, it tastes fantastic. Same in here. That's the reason why part of the flag is the colour of the apricot. What they say, not whether it's true or not, but that's uh, what I read on the internet yesterday. <laughs> Okay, we're turning away from the highway now. now we're heading towards a town called Vidi. And Ararat is behind us. All the nice big hall by fours and they're replaced by larders again. And uh, these bumble trucks we call them. From Lightning McQueen, I think the film. <laughs> There's another one there. Beady now. Notice there's a great view now. Mount Ararat behind us. You see, we've got a bike. Turning around to the places. Hello. Okay. The plan is now that during the next eight days we have to bike 375 kilometers to the southern border of Armenia, the Armenia. We run border, which uh, means sounds pretty easy, 50 kilometers a day. We have to do an average. The only thing is that extremely mountainous in uh, Armenia from now on. We've got four big climbs to go over that are all over 2,000 meters. The last one is actually 2,500 meters. <laughs> so just the final climb is probably going to take us two days alone just to just to climb that one. And uh, this time, not like in Turkey, we're starting from a thousand meters, we're starting from 500 meters each time. So uh, we're gonna climb from 500 meters to over 2,000, four times. But, uh, it's gonna make the next 375 kilometers pretty tough going. But uh, we'll see how it goes, just to give you some kind of <laughs> Hello. Just to give you some kind of comparison, when we cycled through Turkey, that was 
total distance of 2,000 kilometers and over those 2,000 kilometers we climbed 17,000 meters up that's 17 kilometers up for 2,000 kilometers distance cycle just a, as a comparison in well, meaning we have to cycle 375 kilometers in distance but we have to go up 7,500 meters about seven and a half kilometers up in Armenia just spread out over 375 kilometers that's the difference but uh, I'll give it a go I'll see if it's possible that's the challenge for the next week hopefully we'll be at the Armenian border next week on Wednesday and give us a, a day two days of resting before we cross the border to Iran on Friday next week Okay, the roads are quieter. Nice view of Mount Ararat right there in the high middle. Soon time to find a place to camp. It's about 65 kilometers today so far. There we're ahead of schedule. We're already harvesting down there. found a spot here in Armenia, this is called View Top Camping, it's just been named and the view is pretty good, the view is approved, so not far from the road but we're uh, high up here on a kind of viewpoint so it's okay. Jamie wants to say something, when we <laughs> film it's all time the best thing to film because perhaps just uh, trying to find a place but there was holes and there was sticky things, so we don't want to be there. And so we look around, find a new place to go, and go again, and so we find this place. So it's not so easy. Well, camping though, so. But in the end, we usually find a good place. Yeah. Sometimes Daddy it's fast. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it takes a bit of time. But we managed. So let's get the tent off. And most times, then, especially at the a bit skeptical in the evening and then in the morning you think it's the best place in the whole world. <laughs> so we hope this is the same. <laughs> okay, Jamie's just spotted a carved stone here. They even look like Mary Magdalena, who knows? <laughs> and there's a few cups as well here. It could have been actually a small chapel here, maybe, in the olden days. I'm not really sure. And uh, Armenia, that was the first country in the world to convert to Christianity, even before Rome. It's, uh, to this day, it's still a Christian country, even though it's surrounded on both sides by Islamic countries. It's still a Christian country. And there's about uh, three million people that live here in Armenia at the moment. And uh, of those, yeah, Armenia actually used to be quite a big country, much bigger than it is today. And also much more people used to live here. There was a, a genocide here during the First World War, I think 1915, around about then. Uh, blamed on the Ottoman Empire, the Turks. That's why even to this day, Turkey and Armenia are not don't have good relations. One of the reasons also why the border is still closed <laughs> between uh, Armenia and Turkey. And there's three million people that live here. But, uh, Armenia used to be a very big country, much bigger than it is today. And it's been at war with nearly all its neighbours. Um, but even now, I think eight million Armenians they live outside of Armenia in Russia. Actually Los Angeles is a, a place where quite a lot of Armenians live. Even one of the towns near Arme near Los Angeles is uh, about 60 or 70 percent Armenian, pure Armenian. So they're also at war with their other neighbour to the east, Azerbaijan. Um, there's an area, an enclave within Azerbaijan uh, which is actually I think 95 percent Armenian as well and they've been fighting over that even 2016 I think that was the last time there was actually fighting um, not in Armenia but just uh, within 
the border of Azerbaijan. So I think there's a ceasefire at the moment, but uh, I've said that a few times, then it starts up again. But, uh, yeah. So yeah, unfortunately a country that's had a lot of war in its history, we can see that as well. I'm recycling through a lot of abandoned buildings near the border, Turkey. But uh, yeah, that's a little bit of the history of Armenia. Now we're just going to enjoy the mountains here the next few days, especially in the spot we are now. It's a fantastic spot. Tents up. And uh, yeah, tomorrow a bit of mountain climbing to do. We'll, uh, I'll explore the country. Should be good. Mm. Maybe five or ten minutes ago, I was going over to explore a little bit of the place here, and every time I'm doing that. And so I think, what is turtle camping and everything? But this is the special today. It's Mac, I think it's Mac Mary Delina. Mary Magdalena. Yeah. Could be. And uh, the thing I have found was uh, this hand or foot or something. Fur before this. It's like a bird, I think. So. Yeah, before it was. That's it. But oh, when I want broken. to make them again, I think. First, I take this one. No, okay, you've heard that you said. Yeah, and so I think after that, take no, this. No, it's a bird, yeah. And take some stones here. Yeah. And so it's. Uh, Made again? Yeah. Perfect. So that's how oh, it's I it's like a kind it. of a cup there. Yeah. Maybe the holy grail. And the special thing uh, you can just see here is this is not the crush, it's full, it's crush but a little dip inside. Mm -hmm. oh. Kind mm -hmm. of thing. And it's free here. One, two, three, four. It's very special and actually it's very heavy. Maybe it's maybe it's I don't know. Let me try. Now I'm going up to the top, so see you to the top. Bye bye. I'm going exploring. <laughs> Good place to go exploring. Yes, we use all this energy in biking. No. And we even have 65 kilometers. That's the amazing thing with kids. They can bike all day and then uh, get to a place to camp and then go and have a game of football. Yeah. <laughs> Adults, we don't do that. Today, mm -hmm. bit of pasta, back to camping, cooking. Yeah, actually sit outside. It's the first time we've done this for a whole. I've done it many times, really. We have to sit inside the tent. Yeah. We can uh, sit here, enjoy the view. Now I'm enjoying a nice dinner out in the open. <laughs> this mountain behind me, you can see the road there, it's about 1,200 meters now, we have to go up to 2,000, uh, should be a nice day, the road seems nice and quiet here, so head into the mountains and uh, see a little bit more of, a, of uh, Armenia. Mm -hmm. 